Hello everyone, this is Soundrout, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create the most epic Discord server ever. If you're a new server owner and you're looking to get some clout or upgrade your server, hopefully this tutorial will help you out. Of course, your server will be yours, so you don't need to follow this guide and you can do whatever you want. Now, I'll leave some timestamps in the description or on the screen so you can skip to any section you want to view. Starting out your server, you'll need a certain topic to adhere to. This could be a game, a YouTube channel, a TV show, or even a specific meme. This will set the foundation of your server, and it'll make it much easier for you to decide what kind of channels you want in your server. These will be super useful to you as the server owner, as bots automate certain functions and even add new possibilities to your server. They're super easy to add, all you gotta do is just click this button here and boom, you're done. Some bots I suggest adding are Me6, which has a leveling system, moderation, custom commands, and a lot more. Rhythm, which allows users to play music in VCs. Dino, which has a good moderation system, but it does crash a lot, so be careful. Giveaway Bot, which allows you to create your own giveaways like Discord Nitro in your server. Dank Memer, which has a super popular currency system and also has moderation, believe it or not. Carlbot, which is really good at logging certain actions like when people type in chat. And that's pretty much it. You can always look up any other bots if you want a specific function in your server or just simply more fun things to do. Okay, this is arguably the most important thing to ensure is perfect on your server. If you mess up permissions, it could result in someone destroying your server or abusing bots. So you're gonna wanna think about what base perms every user will have on your server. Do you want them to unlock permissions as they rank up? Will they start with being able to post images? Will you let them use any emotes in the server? This is all up to you, the owner, and there's no wrong answer, but I would recommend making it so as they level up using the bot me6, they unlock more things. As well as this, setting up permissions for moderators is very important, as you'll want to make sure they're able to punish people correctly. I'd recommend allowing them to have at least manage roles and manage channels. The higher roles in the server like admin or head mod can then receive managed server. You could also edit permissions to allow certain users to see channels. Like if they reach level 5, they'll be able to unlock a new channel. Make sure that users cannot talk in announcements, for example, or be able to see channels with logs and staff chat. That's the basic stuff everyone should know. To get moderators on your server, you could use various methods like staff applications, or simply asking trustworthy people within your community to help you out. Make sure you get a moderation bot like Dino so that your moderators are able to punish people like they can use mute, warn, or ban. You can set up your own punishment system so if someone gets a certain amount of warnings, they can be muted or even banned. Having a good system like this is important as it prevents rule breakers from tearing down your server. It also gives people something to aim for in your server which in this case would be to become moderator. Obviously, you'll want a lot of channels in your server, but there are some specific ones you should definitely have. These include the rules, which show what members cannot do in your server, information channels, which give info on all of the roles, bots, and or channels in your server, announcements channels, where you can announce anything to all of your server members, staff channels where your staff members can meet up and discuss things, and finally VCs where users can talk with one another. I'd recommend having a few of these as well as some where they can play some music using Rhythm or another music bot. Now this is one of the last things to do, but decorating your server to look beautiful is very important. This includes the server icon, banners, channels, roles, and categories. So first of all would be the server icon. You'll want to make sure the icon represents your server, and it has to be easy to view when very small, as Discord sizes all of the icons down. It'll be the first thing your members see, so it has to look great. To create your own icon, you can use a program called GIMP. That's what I use to make my own icon, link in the description. The banner for your server is optional, as of course you need a level 1 nitro boost or higher in order to use it. But it should match well with your icon and also represent your server if you do use it. 
I'd recommend something simple, as anything complicated may not blend well with Discord's simplistic feel. An example would be mine, which is just my icon with a space-like background, and I think it looks pretty fresh. On the topic of nitro boosting, if your server gets level 1, it'll also unlock a custom server invite background. This will change the background appearance of any invite to your server when viewed in a browser. It doesn't matter too much of what this looks like, but it should match your server's aesthetics too. Next up would be your channels. Now the only way to actually decorate your channels and categories would be to add emojis. I wouldn't recommend going overboard by adding a hundred emojis in every channel, but feel free to use some to make it a bit more spicy. On the topic of channels, make sure you add a good description to each one, including some info about the channel you're looking at, and maybe some other ones too, that are related to it. You can include animated GIFs in descriptions like this and it makes it look way better and more alive. Roles can be decorated too. This can be done by making sure the colors match well together. And you can include emojis or symbols in roles, but uh, make sure you don't add too many, okay? Make sure roles' names aren't too long, and explain the roles' well... role? So, you've built up your server, but how can you get people to join it? One obvious way is to find advertising servers, where you can join and freely advertise your server in other people's servers. When you do this, you should include a clear and concise message that describes your server, so the people know exactly what they're stepping into. Make sure, however, that you do not advertise in people's DMs unless the server specifically says it's okay. The same goes for any channels within that server. If you've got social medias like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Steam, etc., you can post an invite to your server on all of those, so when people know you exist, they can also join your server. A less obvious way of advertising would be to do it on websites, such as Discord Server List or Disboard. This is where you can post your own server and people from across the internet can view it as well as join it. Another way would be to offer your current members something in return for advertising. An example could be Discord Nitro for 10 invites or simply a giveaway exclusively for those who have reached 10 invites. Invites can be logged through many different bots, I mean a simple Google search should probably lead you there. And also, if you do give rewards for people that invite, make sure you actually give the rewards, okay? You shouldn't be scamming your members. So, now you're done with creating your own server. Good luck on your ventures of making your server epic and growing it. I'd recommend doing some events for your members from time to time. And don't worry about having a dead chat. That will change as your server grows larger. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.